Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a sign with your own design with the right perspective and the right texture. So for this example we have this sign which has been downloaded from pixels.com and I have removed the sign and replaced it with our logo. If we zoom in on the logo, as you can see we have the right texture from the image. Behind the image, the behind image texture is showing up on the logo. We can achieve that and it's on the right perspective. So if you want to modify the logo or change it to another logo, you can easily do that. So just double click on it. For example, uh, let me just fill up with another color, solid color. Find the layer, Ctrl S to save. And if you now go back to the template, as you can see, it has been changed the right perspective and also with the right texture the image texture is showing up over here as you can see that's about it so if i just remove this layer and bring up our logo again press ctrl s to save and now as you can see this is our logo so let's get started first delete all of those i don't need any of those also close this layer First make a selection of this logo or the banner which you want to remove. In this example it will be really easy. Just make a selection with the lesser. On some areas the selection is not perfect you can just hold on the shift key and add those areas. As you can see this is uh, selected let me just remove this extra area now we don't want to over select this on this middle area there is nothing we can just remove this part from the selection just hold on the alt key and draw over this area Now go over edit, content our fill. So as you can see our selection looks perfect but we don't want to sample from those areas the extra areas has been selected. We'll, in order to remove those we will just brush over those areas. We also don't want to sample from this part. It's looking pretty good for me. Just with the new layer selected press ok and ctrl d to deselect this area as you can see our low sign new sign has been removed sorry the old sign has been removed now we will put our new logo before we do that we need to make a selection of this part where we will put our logo so in this my situation just select the polygon tool or you can use any selection tool you want making a rough selection that's fine if your selection is not perfect you can always go to select and transform selection and modify the selection from here just uh, when you do that make sure you hold down the control key and that's fine if you hold down the control key the one anchor point will only move otherwise uh, full design will move let me show you as you can see it's looking fine for me. Now create a new layer and fill up with any color you want. For now I'll put it a white color. That's about it. So for now it's on our right perspective, but we don't want that. We want to make it flat and we'll put that on the perspective later. First, press uh, make a few rollers. Here we will go to rollers. You can press Ctrl T to select it. It will make it more easier for you to see the selection. And one more roller over here. One more roller over here. And one more roller over here. That would be fine. I don't 
I don't need to put anything over here, but we have to put a ruler for this part. It's fine. Now we'll put this top corner to this position and then bottom corner to this position. Let's do it. Holding down the control key, put this corner to this position and this corner to this position. That's fine. It looks fine for me. Now you can remove the rulers or guidelines, whatever you say. That's fine. Now right click, right click on the layer, convert to smart object. That's fine. Now select the layer again and press Ctrl T. Now we will put it on the perspective. So let's do it again. Holding down the control key, put it on the corner. Why I did it? Uh, remove the perspective and putting it again. I will explain in a moment. Just do it with me. This looks fine for me. So now it's our perspective. If you double click on it, as you can see we have a perfect rectangle which higher will put our logo but if that was an angle perspective if we put the logo on over here it would mess up the perspective over here so that is the reason why i did it now we can uh, put our logo just to, uh, open illustrator we have the logo which we have downloaded from freepick.com just i have to open this that's fine. Now go to Twitter and drag the logo to Photoshop. That's fine. Just hide the background layer. Press Ctrl T and the layer selected and make it larger. That's looking good. If we go to the layer, as you can see, nothing has been changed yet. In order to change, you must save the layer. Create file, save, not save it, just save. It will automatically change over here. So as you can see, it has been uh, set up perfectly with the perspective. But we uh, don't have any texture over yet. You have to get the texture. Double click on the layer. It will open up the layer style panel. Hold down the Alt key and press over here, the underline layer section on the blending if section uh, to divide the this part just drag it on the little bit on the right as you can see we are getting the all of the texture from the photo so we'll do it little bit not too much By the way, you can download the template from the video link on the description. That's good. If it's looking uh, too dark for you, you can just duplicate the layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. And you can bring down the opacity on the top layer to around 50%. That's about it. As you can see, we have the texture with the perfect color. That's how you can replace a sign for mock-up with your own design. 